Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Thank you for stopping by. Welcome to uh, new potential subscribers and to not miss any of my haul videos, DIYs and how to for crafts and other things. Uh, please uh, subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below or on the Anne Makes at the bottom of your screen. And today I have a Dollar Tree haul. I am in Canada, so this is Dollar Tree in Canada. And uh, yeah, uh, it's I, I bought a lot of stuff. It was a pretty big haul. It is the first haul of September for me. By the time I upload this video, it'll be, yeah, maybe the second week of September at the time that you see this. Uh, so here we go. I went to Dollar Tree hoping that they had, I was hoping that my Dollar Tree would have more Halloween and fall decor items. They did have a few things, uh, but not a lot. There were still lots of bare walls and shelves, but uh, I think like, like someone said to me, uh, they're just getting ready to put out the Christmas stuff. I, I think that's, I don't know if that's all we're getting for fall and Halloween in, in my store, but there, I didn't seem, I don't find that there was as much as in previous years, but anyway, that's what it is. So uh, nonetheless, having said that, I still managed to buy a lot of stuff. I did fill up my cart in no time. So uh, let's just start with what's at the top here on my desk. <laughs> so I saw these banner art paper rolls. They are the Teaching Tree brand so they have this with the teaching supplies um, and in my store they have the teaching education supplies on the same side in the aisle where they have the crafting supplies so I don't have a very big store and they kind of fit it squeeze everything into uh, one area so this paper that I chose it looks like wood so it's just, I think it's just regular paper, but I got it because, well, being, being crafty, there's always a use for different kinds of paper. And it says here that it's great for bulletin boards and tabletop activities. So just to give you an idea what the intention behind this product is, it measures 28 inches and there is six feet in here. So basically, yeah, you could probably cover a table or definitely a nice big bulletin board in a classroom, but I'm sure there are other things that I can do with this. And the other pattern I chose is, if you can see that, it looks like uh, stones or bricks. You see that? I kind of like these natural, you know, patterns. They have different kinds of patterns and different colors and this is what I chose because I thought I would probably use this the most in all my my DIYs and craft projects. So, and like it says, I could always use this to just cover a table to make a very pretty background. So I'm, I'm gonna put these in my paper roll basket that I showed you in a previous Dollarama haul that I I have rigged in my studio. So essentially my my setup is one of these wire baskets but it's in white and it's on a pot stand that has coasters and wheel, you could wheel it around so that's what I have set up here uh, in my studio because the heavier the basket gets the harder it is to move it so with the wheels underneath it it's just easier to push it around. Uh, um, just, uh, I needed to pick up some shampoo conditioner for my guys. So I stocked up on several bottles of this, the Silky and Hair Care. There's 20 fluid ounces, just shampoo conditioner mix. And I picked up some more nibs. I love these nibs. And a new food item at my Dollar Tree are the Massimo Grissini, the Italian breadsticks. And these ones are the garlic. I haven't seen breadsticks in that ages. And I just thought, wow, that's pretty pretty neat that Dollar Tree has these. And 
I thought my family would enjoy eating these. We do have pasta. We do have a lot of Italian foods. And these are great with uh, on pasta night. They're great with salad. They're just yeah, yummy little breadsticks. And they also have the uh, traditional uh, flavor. So just Italian breadsticks. So I've got one of each of these. And I think that is it for the food, the food and snack items. I didn't buy a lot this time. I saw one, one item for Day of the Dead, which is this skull. And I purchased it because I don't have anything for Day of the Dead decorations. And uh, sometimes as a blogger, I need to think about um, projects for my viewers and for the companies I work with, so I just thought this would be a good little thing to have, a good thing to have as a background piece or a decorative piece for that uh, holiday, or occasion, I should say. Another thing that I thought was really cute were these little pet bandanas. So they have some that have little, like, doggy bones, and I took this one because they had little paw prints, and they had them in red they, like this they also had a black one and I think there was a blue one but of course I chose this red because of my cat she, she's a girl and red is such a beautiful color on her it suits her very well after all she's all black so I got this for uh, kitty and I just thought it would be really cute for her to wear this sometimes you know I know she's not gonna keep it on for very long but she'll look very cute and hopefully I can get her Get her to sit still long enough to take a picture. Uh, so I got that bandana for her, and I got this scarf uh, for me. They are already, they're bringing out the fleece and the wools and stuff. So it's a woman's fleece scarf, uh, nine and a half inches long by five, 59 inches. Sorry, nine and a half inches wide by 59 inches long. It's very soft. I just thought the, these were nice bright colors. The pinks and the reds has a little bit of a fringe. Just, you know, cheerful scarf to brighten up those gloomy, cold days that we will have shortly. Fast enough, soon enough. Ugh. Um, I got some other little scarves. These are very thin scarves, more... Uh, you know just to dress up a t-shirt or a shirt a plain shirt and this is they had so many so many styles to choose from these are 11 inches wide by 60 inches and this one these are the ones i chose but like i said they had tons of different colors and prints and uh, yeah i picked up a package of these earplugs uh, just for my friend's sake, because in a month from now, we are going to have a girls get together and, uh, we'll, you know, staying there for the weekend type of thing. And apparently I snore. So I just thought I would get this for my friends. Okay. <laughs> uh, there were t-shirts at my Dollar Tree, uh, and I took the largest ones that they had because they are sized very small and I just picked them up there. You know, they're just thin t-shirts and th these are for women. I usually get uh, t-shirts, they only ha usually have them for men, but these are for women. So I got a bunch of these t-shirts. I'm expecting them to shrink and that's okay. But, uh, you know, inexpensive t-shirts like this are great for me to wear with, you know, all the messy work that I do around here. So they ha I got a blue one. They had a purple, but they did, they only had like small left. So that that's not gonna fit me. And charcoal and black. But like I said, these are the colors they had plus uh, purple. New in the aisle where they have the, uh, where they have pillowcases and those storage bags, those big, big, big storage bags and things like coat hangers closet organizers I'm like that that aisle where they they have that they have these bags they had a box of these travel is they call these travel bag uh, water resistant by the essentials brand 
And yeah, these are great for traveling to put in uh, if you have, you know, some some damp clothes or something like that. But I, I should have picked up more of these and I should go back to get as many as I can because I these are great also for storing all sorts of projects uh, for crafting and DIYs. They are really, usually really sturdy bags. So, and these would sell, these sell for more in the art supply store. So yeah, this is the type of material that they use for those bags. Sometimes they're bigger, but this is a pretty nice size. It's not a full, I'm not sure that it's a full size of paper, but it is It is intended for travel, it says here, you know, for it's a water resistant bag, but there's so many other ways we could use these bags. So I got a few of those. I got some strange little things. Uh, I have some DIYs in mind. So I picked up these little socks these slip on socks they're like little nylon foot socks i got them in black they come three pairs in a package which is such a good deal i got them in the uh, what do they call this beige color or nude color depends yeah i'm not sure what how they call it but i call it beige and the white um yeah i, I just had some crafty ideas to use this and I needed this fabric for it. And I also got one of these hair nets because it made me think of a web, kind of, you know, spidery web, Halloween-ish. So I picked one up thinking maybe I'll come up with a DIY or crafty project to use this in. Uh, speaking of Halloween and webs, I my store had these little candle votives and they're like these cute little pumpkin spiders <laughs> so I got a few of those and they have these little wire legs and you can put like a little candle in there a little votive or something I also got some votives um, I got these ones they come in a four in a pack they're very, they're a nice size they have these wonderful scents for fall. This one is, um, this the one I picked up is a maple pumpkin cream. It does smell very, very fallish, very pumpkin spicy. So uh, they do come in a set of four. I took one out because I was testing the size of it in uh, another candle votive thing that I have. So, yep, you get four of these, good price. I also picked up a few more of these glass bowl vases, vases for some craft projects. So I would have them on hand and it's got something to do with this, but I'm not saying any more because in case it's a complete fail. I needed a new brush like this for the kitchen, the soap dispensing brush. I like to use these in the kitchen, uh, the one I had Currently was all flat now. <laughs> it's time to get a new one. So I got two of these actually. One to put here in my studio and one for the kitchen. I picked up, I had the idea that I should get some little uh, chalkboards because chalkboard is very trendy right now. The whole, you know, chalkboard stuff. And I saw these. Uh, these are from Greenbrier. See, I thought they were multi -crow. These are actually from Greenbrier, and they come like this. They're just a little board, and it's a little frame uh, with the little cord at the top. So I thought these were really cute, and I got three of them thinking if I want to do a DIY and I want to hang three of them in a row, I'll do, I can do that, or, you know, if I want to hang them separately, I'll have them. But yeah, just for some... Uh, Crafty DIYs and home decor items. I got those. I picked up some silver trays. Dollar Tree. I got one of the round, one of the oval, and one of the rectangle. Um, I'm showing them to you fast because I know they're, they're reflective. And so I just wanted to have these in my stash because I have some DIY ideas in mind. And it's just nice for me to have this in the storage so when I get 
an idea or I want to make a, a quick decoration I have. New at Dollar Tree and I saw Sandra from Sandra's Halls show these and, and I, I got I only got two of them. Uh, they're these donut magnets in this they're very squishy. They're just magnets. And I just think they're so cute. So I got, they come in uh, four different colors, I believe. So I got this chocolate one, chocolate covered one. And I got this like vanilla chocolate cho and chocolate covered donut. They also had the pink one or red. And they also had the other one that's uh, with the blue icing. So, uh, but I chose these two and I'm, they're going in my kitchen, but I just thought they're so cute. They're just squishy and cute. So and they're donuts. So they're just decorative little doodads that'll collect dust. Ah, they ha this is new also, uh, a Dollar Tree. They call this a special moments memories collection photo hanger line. So basically, it's just a, a little cord, little jute cord here with some little painted wooden clothes pins and two little suction cups. So you can stick that on a wall if you want. And yeah, you can make your own little photo gallery. That's the intention. And I almost didn't buy it because I thought, well, I can do this myself at home with, I already have everything that's in here, but I just wanted to show you that this was available. And in this kit, you get eight wood clips, two suction cups, and eight and a half feet of jute cord or 2.6 meters. So that's what you get. They have these battery operated lights uh votive lights they're led they're supposed to last 120 hours i got some of these in this coppery color i thought these would be good for fall decor and just you know they're kind of perfect for the the time of year so i got these and i have another diy idea in mind i wanted to buy some of those styrofoam pumpkins that they usually have at dollar tree the orange ones that are carvable but i haven't seen them at my dollar trees i do have some in my my stash from last year and i had a idea in mind of glittering one up with pink glitter so i got this glitter glue in pink and i got this glitter this pink glitter also for that and because I was thinking of some Halloween projects I got some supplies for that and I also got a few more of these little kitty cats I say a few more because I did get some last year and so I got a couple more this year because I'm not sure that I still have all the ones I bought last year I think the wind we had strong winds and the wind kind of blew away some of my decorations <laughs> last year so anyway it's not too bad. These are, you know, not expensive, but uh, I'll have these ones for this year. For my uh, Halloween DIYs, I picked up some uh, black duct tape, just extra black duct tape, some chenille stems in black, and I showed this quickly before, but this this basket here, this mesh basket, I bought a, several of these uh, because I thought these would be good material and base to have for uh, some other Halloween style projects. I also wanted these rhinestones especially for the pink ones here for um, an idea that I have for a project. Some more napkins because they're just so pretty at this time of year with all the pretty patterns that they have. They're great for decoupage projects so got these and there's 18 in here of these pretty napkins. There, there are all these fall colored leaves on a wooden type of background. I picked up a couple more of these little lint rollers. Uh, it turns out I, I've been using one of the small ones here that I have beside my Cricut. It's great for picking up uh, glitter that's, you know, or, or sequins that have run away type of thing. And it's just an easy way to clean up my counter. And I, I did not know this, but... Um, until I, I used one, the sheets are actually printed. They're not white. The sheets on the rolls are actually printed in the same print that you see on the roller. So it's kind of cute. 
at the cash they had the little keychains that are like little flowers and they're really really pretty so and yeah they're nice and squishy and so I got this one in the rosy color so that was pretty now in the children's toys they have the my blocks so it's a knockoff of those building block sets they had one and one only of this little beach chair set and it's funny that they have this out now and it was new was new on the on the, sh the floor and the other ones were all like fire trucks um military police <laughs> stuff like that but i took this one because it's rare that i can find something that has a little girl on it or a woman and i got it because it has like a, a little you can make like the little um parasol there so i just thought these would be fun to have for some kind of display fairy garden little craft project another thing i wanted to have in my uh stash was this little gumball machine these were new they brought they had a new batch of these at my dollar tree so i got the pink one always uh so many cute diys you can do with these little gumball machines so i got one of those i saw the crayola Crayography hand lettering creative art pad. I have hauled the first book in this uh, that they have with the practice your calligraphy pages. And this one is basically, there are practice pages in it here too, but it's basically just uh, like pages with pr pretty frames to create artwork. You know, to create some calligraphy artwork. So, got that. I picked up some uh, black heavy-duty plastic utensils just because I just thought these would be handy for some projects for Halloween. And what well, worse comes to worse, they'll be great for eating. <laughs> I also picked up these black jumbo elastics. Uh, they look really nice and comfortable, but I wasn't thinking of my hair. I was just thinking again of using these in uh, DIYs for Halloween. I also got some black Velcro for some Halloween DIYs and some um, of these head wraps. You get 12 of these. They're just like big elastics in black. Might come in handy for, um, uh, for some more Halloween DIYs. I picked up this package of, I don't know, coins, like, you know, plastic children's coins for some, I thought for some crafting, for some, I don't know, just, I just thought I should have this in my stash. And for, I think that's it. And that's it for uh, this Dollar Tree haul. I do have some more Dollar Tree stuff to show you. Uh, but that will have to be in another video because the the bags are not here right now. So uh, I hope you are inspired to get your D DIY crafty on. And thank you so very much for supporting this channel. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you'll give this a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share. Uh, take care of yourself. Stay crafty and I'll see you after the next video. Bye.